under that visor after all. You think he knew Batman? Scarecrow's not letting the cop out of his sight. That's his trump card. Batman's acting weird. That's what I heard. I don't know how you're doing this, but not one of the 
those treacherous tin men will be receiving the heart, I promise them. Time to seek out and destroy the militia checkpoints. Riddler, or you can stay in one piece. Whatever you want. The right choice. I can see. 
for most things. Scarecrow's army now. I, I know we were working for him already, but I like a little bureaucratic separation between me and the evil mastermind. When we win, not if. Okay, whatever. I'm just saying, what happens? The city's gonna be ours. That's what happens. I'm going wherever the money takes me. Smart move. Principles don't earn you a living.
chances are we're not gonna even see him. <laughs> Lucky for him. Damn straight. I've been itching to use all our training on the bat. Okay, okay, we'll join a couple of riots, but I can't be out all night. It's my turn to watch the kids tomorrow. At least that Ivy woman's dead. No more tank-crushing, man-eating plants. Earlier, it took me ten minutes just working up the courage to walk past a shrubbery. You think that's bad? I had salad for lunch. I kept thinking, can she bring it back to life? Can she make it explode out of my stomach like some kind of alien parasite? Tell me everything. I'm asking nicely. This is all I know! Thanks.
Remind me of this guerrilla fighter. Kept raiding our camp in Troubadour. We got him eventually. Nailed his head to a wall. One chance, Slade. Leave Gotham. Now. I don't think so. You've taken out my checkpoints. Nice work. But I've got the city rigged to blow, and our watchtowers have locked down Gotham's skies. Alfred, do you have any leads? I don't, sir. In the meantime, there are numerous open cases yet to be investigated. For this is the moment we shall re- 
return from exile. This is the moment we shall find our way home from the wilderness. This is the moment we shall reclaim what is right. Gotham shall be rent from the darkness, and I, Deacon Blackfire, will be its savior. By the might of the lifted dagger, we invoke the spirit of righteous anger. Be thy lord present among us in all. Who dares disrupt this ritual? Batman, is that you? G -g Get me out of here! This is sacred ground, heathen. You do not belong here. But God has sent you so that I may bathe in your blood, too. My children, the devil comes clad in black. Slay him where he stands. Quickly, the time of sacrifice draws near. The best lies! Imagine. I'll still be here when you're dead and gone, Batman. Gotham will be mine. Spare me this sermon. What took you? I'm kidding. Looks like I got my story. This is it, Batman. This could get me back in the game. My own show. Hey, first guess, how about it? The real Batman. Your story. I'm taking you back to GCPD. You're stepping into my church now, Deacon. Look around you, Batman. Look at what you seek to protect. Gotham is fallen. Why are you still fighting? This is over. I say when it's over, Blackfire. Take him down to the cells. Hey, don't look too pleased. You think this Blackfire's a real place Batman? It's just, <laughs> I owe Gotham Church an apology for that incident with the hydrochloric holy water. Oh, that was one hell of a baptism.
think that's smart bringing the girl back here, Batman? Might as well kill her now. You were lucky, Ryder. Thanks for saving me, man. I mean, I had it under control. It was all part of the act, you know. Getting up close and personal. Next time I'll leave you there. Ah, cute. If I died, who would you talk to? Be warned. I'm not saving you again tonight. What, this? Purely above board. Queen Industries launched a new company last week, q -Core. I'm doing a follow-up piece about the owner, a real sharpshooter. Unsure. I'll send you a copy. So, Batman, book titles. I'm thinking Blackfire, Black Heart. Jack Ryder uncovers a true story of modern-day human sacrifice in Gotham. Or maybe just the cult. I'm gonna be famous, Batman. Those sacrificial victims didn't die for nothing. Can't wait to see Vale's face when I show her what I've got. Sometimes the good guys finish first, Batman. Pity about Ivy. Still, redemptive self-sacrifice was a savvy PR move. I see a movie in it, Batman. More importantly, I see a screenplay. Barbara Gordon, back from the grave. There's so many stories here, I don't know which one to write up first. I think Cash stuck Blackfire's crazies outside my room on purpose. One of them keeps looking at me like I'm a communion wafer. So, Batman, book titles. I'm thinking... Black fire, black heart. Jack Ryder uncovers a true story of modern day human sacrifice in Gotham. Or maybe just the cult. Let there be light, Deacon. Uh, easy. I can do that. Cheap pyrotechnics do not scare me, child. This is our city. Deacon, we're the law around here. Man's law is not equipped to deal with Gotham's injustices. You're gonna be in here for a long time, Blackfire. Child, these bars cannot hold me. When the time comes, God will dissolve them like the hot wax of a candle, and I will be free. I'd keep praying if I were you. Oh, I will. I'll pray for everyone, for all Gotham's lost children, especially you, Batman. I'll do one special just for you. You gotta hand it to Deacon Blackbeard. Anything that gets the homeless working should be encouraged. Pig on the cross. Pig with nails. Pig on cross. Pig with nails. From what hellish pit did you emerge? Top had an umbrella with, yep, a hidden blade inside, owned by Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. the Penguin. God bless Penguin. Gotham changes. New freaks come and go. But you can always count on that vicious little cockney to be up to something. Cell, property of Stag Enterprises. <sighs> You'd think Stag would have enough money not to strike deals with scum like Scarecrow. Well, not anymore. This won't be the only thing we confiscate from Stag Enterprises after tonight. substance and one vampire bat owned by Kirk Langstrom aka what are we gonna call this guy Batman's already taken 
I guess this guy's more of a man bat anyway. One sacrificial knife and prayer book, owned by Deacon Blackfire. This high priest of Crazy Town tried to kill reporter Jack Ryder. Just another religious nut complaining about media bias, I guess. One tactical visor, worn by Gotham's newest mystery man, the Arkham Knight. I think Batman knows more about this guy than he's letting on, but I'll ask him about it some other time. It's good to see another friendly face. Hell, there ain't too many left in this town. So the Arkham Knight's really gone this time? I'll believe that when I see it. You've only lasted this long because it's what he wants. He's been dying all night. I just didn't know it. I need to pick a target before giving an order. they can reach before I issue an order. Todd, are you bats? You should be flattered. Anyone else's sidekick and I would have killed them. But yours, they deserve so much more.
Natural cure for... October 15th. Still no sign of the preacher. No records, nothing. Something tells me he won't stay hidden for long. For the Lord hath designed the most cruel and dark place. Yes, he has. It's where we put the heathen, the guilty men and women in his pavilion of pain. Where lakes of fire burn and hot coals fall as hailstones from a black Those days are numbered. I've seen it. He's done shown it to me. He showed me the fire. He showed me the bodies writhing in flames. Cause that's what's waiting for you. You who don't accept me into your heart. I am the messenger of truth. For the Lord hath anointed me with his sacred oil. He hath separated me above all others and promised me and my children their rightful place in the new kingdom. Yeah, that's right. You will be made princes of all the earth. Amen. <laughs> Blackfire's sermons are getting worse. He's not waiting for Armageddon. He's bringing it. And I'm gonna be right there when he does. Tape 11, October 19th. Going back over some old interviews I did on Gotham's homeless. Numbers were dropping. No one knew why. And I think there might have been a link to Blackfire. My name's Terry Noonan. I worked the sewers best part of 20 years. You name it, I've seen it. Walls of fat so thick they'd swallow you up. Rats as big as dogs. Enough teeth and hair to give you nightmares. It's a different world down there. I understand you've got a theory, Mr. Noonan. Terry, please. Some people like to think the homeless are disappearing because Gotham's pulling them out of the gutter. But you think different? I've heard things. Strange things. Voices. Chanting. Chanting? Like church. It's been like this for months. I hear it more often, and it's getting louder. Have you ever tried to find it? Hey, I ain't stupid. Besides, none of my business. If you were smart, you'd think the same. 
Lunan went missing not long after this. Cops found his body stuffed in one of those giant fat deposits. They said it was an accident. I figure he found something he wasn't supposed to. What the hell are you up to, Blackfire? 23, October 26th. I was searching the archives and this little gem cropped up. Cops arrest a vagrant who's had a run-in with Blackfire. Guess we're starting to get some idea what this whack job's been up to. Please state your name. I haven't got a name. Not anymore. We're his children. His disciple. Who? Deacon Blackfire. The one true messenger. The Redeemer. He can save Gotham. He can save us all. Well, he sounds like a nice guy. You mock me, you fool. You don't know the power you're dealing with. Okay, why don't you tell me? A thousand years he has walked the earth, and a thousand more he will reign. You're smiling. You think I'm crazy? Hey, you're free to believe whatever you want. I doubted him too once, and then I saw it. The blood is his power. He bathes in it. And I'm sure he does. You can see it in their eyes when he draws the blade across their throat. They see it then. The light. Okay, buddy. Take it easy. I have to leave. We have work to do. The final sacrifice is coming. It will grant him everlasting life. Hey, sit down. Restrain him. Get off me. An army of homeless killers? Human sacrifices? Bathing in blood? I hope they're planning another sacrifice. You can't win the awards without a little human tragedy. Tape 25, October 30th. Got my hands on this forensic report. Human sacrifice. It's real. They're really happening. The deceased M. Hollis, located in the abandoned premises, front-facing room to Hammond Close. Male, 33 years, approximately 6 feet, 210 pounds, brown hair. Found lying face up on a table central to the room. Contusions on the wrist and ankles, indicating the victim was restrained with a thick cord or rope. The neck has been cut, deep incision severing the esophagus and main arteries. The body appears to have been drained of blood. Victim is naked. Clothes have been burned as well as personal effects. No sign of murder weapon. Symbols have been drawn onto the walls in victim's blood. Photograph blocked. Scene secured by Detective Russo at 2100 hours. Something big's happening. Blackfire's here, I know it. He wants that final sacrifice, but where? I need that last piece of the puzzle, then bam, son of a bitch is mine. A big piece of the puzzle just fell into place. Lady of Gotham, that's where it's going down. I couldn't wait for you, Batman, sorry. This one's too important to miss. Guess you're wondering what the Lady of Gotham connection is. Turns out there was a black fire tied up with the Miyagani people. His name crops up in tribal stories. Seems like they shot him with arrows, shut him in a cave. You want to know where that cave is supposed to be? You got it. Directly beneath the Lady of Gotham. Looks like the irony didn't escape our preacher. Cash ran this guy's prints. Turns out he's got a past. Tax evasion, fraud. One file dates back to the 20s. Cash thinks it's got to be a mistake. Part of me wishes Blackfire was telling the truth. I guess we all want to believe, huh? Too bad he's just another con man. I thought it best we meet alone, Edward. I know what you're doing, Crane. Talking to me away from Cobblepot and the others. 
You're appealing to my ego. Is it working? Ha! I don't have an ego, Crane. I'm far too brilliant. Especially for the likes of you. Of course, Edward. But nonetheless, we have a mutual foe. A foe I could vanquish with but one of my cerebral lobes intact. Yet, here you are, proposing an alliance that would let you bask in my luminescent glory. But what if you failed, Edward? What if, by some underhand means, of course, the Batman were to humiliate you again? Absurd! I know, Edward, it's a frightening thought. How many failures can even your enviable reputation withstand? But if the bat were distracted and tugged in too many directions by too many threats, why, then you would be assured of the upper hand. I, uh, I don't know how to respond to your ridiculous insinuations, so all I will say is this. Tell me which day you plan to attack Gotham, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, I will coincidentally put my entirely separate and superior master plan into effect. How kind, Edward. I will keep my fingers crossed. Who is this? Ah, Miss Kyle. You have the privilege of conversing with me, the Riddler. Gotham's premier supervillain and intellectual colossus. And I'm honored, Eddie. Really? Bye. Wait, wait. I'll get to the point. I find myself in need of your unique skill set, your street smart, as your intellectually challenged kind adorably calls them. I'm going to adorably hang up on you, Eddie. No, no, no. Listen. I need something acquired, something valuable. Sorry, Eddie. It's just that I have all these clients who aren't insecure little power mad man children. <sighs> Fine. You may name your fee. Information. Ah, the most valuable commodity of all. Scarecrow's planning something involving Batman. I might be furnished with the absurd particulars of his ridiculous scheme. <laughs> I'll get you what you want, Eddie, if you tell me what I need to know. Right, okay. Riddler bot memory formatted. Adaptive AI algorithms uploaded, joints oiled. Now, <clears throat> give my creation life! Ah, damn it! Useless hunk of dead metal. Do you want to become a semi-automated theme park mannequin? Because that's the fate in store for you. Problem, Eddie? Ah, Miss Kyle, <laughs> you're here. And you already have company. Almost, anyway. Did you lose your friend's battery? Why, you... yes. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, anyway, I'm depleted. And always compensating for it, too. <laughs> oh, Catwoman, your wit never ceases to... occur. Now, I need you to procure a set of rechargeable energy cells for me. Stag Enterprises' Nimbus Tech will work. I'm sure Wayne Enterprises has an equivalent. Got it. It's been a pleasure, as always, Eddie. Except for the talking to you part. Wait! At least take a glimpse at what it is you're supposed to be stealing. There, in the robot's chest cavity. Go on, it won't bite. Eddie, they're not... <laughs> What the hell? Eddie, make this thing let me go. Batteries? You think I needed batteries? Oh, Miss Kyle, you underestimated my bespoke power supply innovations, and that was your downfall. What is this, Eddie? This is... you are... Bait. You see, I've identified what I believe to be some sort of attachment between you and Batman. The base nature of this attachment, quite frankly, disgusts me. But it will bring him here. You'll regret this! <laughs> the world's greatest detective does not frighten me! He's not the reason you'll regret it.
can't leave Nigma. Large. I'll find his trophy and put him behind bars.